You want to grab two packages of these one gallon paint stir sticks because you do want a total of 11 of them. And then I'm just using some of this burnt umber acrylic paint using a baby wipe to apply this on all the paint sticks. I like using the baby wipe just because it kind of waters down the acrylic paint, leaving you with this wood stained finish without using any of those harsh chemicals that are inside of wood stain. Once you have those painted, allow that to dry, and then I'm going over it with Waverly Chalk Paint in the color Plaster, just putting a very small amount of the paint on my paintbrush and just going over it very lightly. So this is just a dry brush method. And again, you wanna just do this to all 11 of those paint sticks and allow that to dry. And this just leaves you with this nice weathered wood finish. I then grabbed two of these signs from Dollar General, went ahead and just cut off the original hanger. And I like to make sure that my pieces are super secure. So I'm using this Dollar Tree Fix All Adhesive Glue with a mixture of hot glue. And I just began adding those paint sticks onto one side of that cow sign. And I added a total of three of those paint sticks onto one side. And as you're adding them, add more glue as needed. And for this part, you wanna make sure that those glues completely dry. So I ended up using some blue painter's tape to hold them together while I work on the other side. So just carefully move the piece so that way you could start adding the other cow sign to the other side of those paint sticks, just using the same two glues. Then you wanna add three more on the other side of those signs. And then once you have the side pieces put together and the glue is completely dry, go ahead and flip the piece upside down. And then you wanna start adding some more of those paint sticks to the bottom. So I ended up doing five paint sticks for the bottom piece. And again, once you have all these pieces put together, just allow those glues to completely dry. That Dollar Tree adhesive glue does take about 10 to 15 minutes to completely dry. And now you just created your own DIY milk crate. You could put whatever you would like inside of these. I had some of these milk glasses. I just filled them up with Spanish moss, added in some sunflowers. But this would be great to have in your kitchen to hold any towels or anything like that or just use it for whatever you would like. I hope this inspires you to create your own in your own special way. If it did, please be sure to sprinkle the love. Thank you and have a good day. Bye.